this bill to the House. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Madam Speaker. I call the Honourable Judith Collins. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Well, what a pathetic excuse for a bill. That's right. Pathetic virtue signalling nonsense. Now, the member who's resumed her seat, the Honourable Jenny Salisa, has read out a, a very nice speech that dealt a little bit with this bill and an awful lot with other bills and policies and other things that might be coming up. So I presume, given the tremendous amount of leeway given to her in this bill and her speech, I'll get the same. So let's just have a look at this. She said that this bill will make life better for renters, and I wrote that down as a quote. Will it make life better for renters? Well, I don't think it will. What it will do, it will make life more difficult for landlords, which mean that they will put up rents, or they will exit the market. Now, it's all very well for the minister who is representing Housing New Zealand, which is the biggest rental company in New Zealand. It has, according to its website, 63,000 homes. It is the biggest, it says, the biggest residential property owner in New Zealand. So we would expect, I think, in the House, that if we're going to get lectured about what's going to make a better life for tenants, that we might be having a lecture from a government that is actually going to keep people safe in their own rental homes. Instead, we have in my electorate, and no doubt in other people's electorates, tenants who are living in fear because Housing New Zealand and their brand new homes that we have all paid for, their brand new homes opened this year, locking systems that do not keep people safe. I raised this issue in Parliament yesterday with Phil Twyford I don't, about I don't, his... Uh, order, I don't believe Housing New Zealand homes have a letting fee. Excuse me, Madam Speaker, point of order. Point of order. The, the member who has resumed her seat, the Minister, talked about Kiwi Build. She talked about the government's other priorities and other legislation coming through. None of that was about letting fees, Madam Speaker. She, she was allowed also... a tremendous amount of leeway. I'm just cautioning the member. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I appreciate your assistance. One of the things I want to talk about here is what makes a better, better life for renters, as the minister has uh, referred to in her speech. She said letting fees are not fair. Well, actually, not having a safe home is not fair either. And so if someone is, for instance, a landlord, and they have to pay the letting fee themselves, and a tenant says, oh, by the way, this lock on the outdoor, outdoor locks that we have can be easily popped open with a screwdriver, and we need a whole new door system put in, I would expect a good landlord would not say, I tell you what, we'll send around a locksmith to give you a different lock, when the entire system needs to be changed, not like Housing New Zealand does. I would expect that a minister representing a government that says it wants to make life better for renters might have a commitment to safety in the home. I would expect a minister who said this is unfair about letting fees to say it is unfair when the country's biggest landlord does not care enough to put in a locking system to protect a woman and her young family from burglars and, in the latest case, an attempted rape. I would have thought that the biggest landlord in the country would actually, and, the, and represented by this government's ministers, order, would not be order, lecturing. Order, could the member please make a passing reference to the bill? Yes, thank the you, bill. That, would be, that would be useful, and then perhaps make a contribution as a third reading debate. So when we look at this particular bill, what is so unfair? Well, what's unfair is that now tenants are going to, who are staying in houses for a long time, are now going to be paying more rent, more rent, even though they're not shifting around tenancies. And long-term tenancies and long-term tenants will no doubt now be actually paying more. And we've heard the minister say this. That there will be that rents might go up by a few dollars a week, and that's another direct quote, because I wrote that one down too. Another direct quote. 
So I would have thought she might also like to say, well, maybe we could have a bill making life fairer for renters, a bill that addresses security as well. So I would have thought it would have been a good opportunity when we're prohibiting letting fees to have looked at the issue of prohibiting dodgy locks on doors put in by landlords because it's cheap, and then taking the cheapest option open to a tenant, uh, to the landlord, to actually say to the tenant, oh, we'll just go and change the key in it. So that's the sort of thing that could have been in this bill. That's the sort of thing that could have made life a bit easier and a little bit fairer for tenants. And I would have thought when the minister is referring to this bill making life better for renters, that she could also have said, well, actually, another thing that could make life better for renters and could have been in this bill, but clearly is not, is an obligation for a landlord to treat a renter as though they too have something useful to do in their lives every day. One would have thought this bill, dealing with letting fees to apparently make life better for renters, would in fact mean that a landlord would contact a tenant before sending a workman to their house, particularly when they've been broken into several times, that they would in fact check that that was sometime when the tenant was home from work to be there, that those could have been things that could have made life better. And perhaps the letting fees that are now going to be prohibited could actually be included in that idea. But I think that would make life better for tenants. So I would have thought that a government so concerned with making life better for tenants, because that's what been, or renters, as we've been told by this minister, would actually be saying, well, maybe instead of being, as the minister said in her words, a tenant being whacked by a rental fee of an entire week's rent, perhaps, in fact, that rental fee could go towards improving the security on the home. That might be a good idea. And I think that could have been included in this bill, but unfortunately is not. We've heard from the minister today that KiwiBuild is to increase demand. Well, all I can see in this bill is nothing to do with KiwiBuild, other than it's certainly going to be securing some really good outcomes for some quite wealthy people. But it's certainly not going to deal with the average rental person who's going to be concerning, or tenant that's going to be concerned with this bill and the rental fees. I think, though, that what it will do is that it will, in fact, hopefully highlight the fact that more people now are going to have to rent and more people are going to be very concerned about the fact that they're going to have to pay more rent because of this bill. I think it does nothing to make life better for renters. What would be better is actually if, a, if landlords were encouraged and incentivised and congratulated for doing the right thing by their tenants. You know, landlords who actually care about the security of tenants in their homes, those sorts of landlords. Instead, what we see here is a bill that knocks around landlords, that yet again pits landlords against tenants, which sees landlords as the problem. Housing New Zealand and the government are already landlords to six, on 63,000 properties. In my opinion, in my experience as a lawyer but also as a constituency MP, Housing New Zealand is the worst landlord in the country. Housing New Zealand does not charge letting fees. Not charging letting fees does not make a landlord a good landlord. Land Housing New Zealand has now a waiting list of almost 10,000 families waiting for a Housing New Zealand house. That increase has gone up 1,000 this year, even though there are no letting fees to be banned when one that, uh, tries to get a Housing New Zealand house. And, having, and that contribution from Mr Greg O'Connor, who once was important, once was important, no longer is, 
He's forgotten that the increases Order. all happened Order. under his government. I need to be all able to happened hear the speaker. Under, oh, thank you, yeah. Madam Speaker. That, in fact, that the increases all happened under his government. The waiting list under National went down. Under Labour, it's gone up. And that's going to continue because this government hates private landlords, hates people providing a service that they think they should do. They are, they are, um, they are people who think they're the only ones who can serve the people and are the worst at it. Thank you. Thank you. I will now go and sort out infrastructure. Madam Speaker. I call Paul Eagle. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And look, it's a real